Hello cake fam, welcome to another video of me making cake for you on camera. I am in my new little temporary setup, um, putting that all together, it's been a lot, there's things everywhere, but we're getting there, we're getting there, I'm in set up in this little section, um, and I've got my new freezer, I've got um, my mixer set up over there, so it's not as aesthetically pleasing, my parents' fish artwork um, is the background now, not my lovely shelves. That's okay. We'll get there. We'll get back there one day. Um, all right. So, uh, doing a cake for my girlfriend's kid's 13th birthday. So, 13th birthday party. It's pink disco vibes. Um, we've got, I've got a whole bunch of um, balloons and stuff that I'm going to help her set up today during the day. Um, just hot pink glitter, all the you know sparkly curtain things. Um, so that's going to be fun. Now she has requested a drip on this cake. I have no idea where my drips are. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna um, we're just gonna improvise, I think, with some with some chocolate. Um, so yeah, it's been a journey for me setting this all up. Um, and yeah, as I said, hopefully one day I will have my own space again and can get back to the aesthetically pleasing backdrop because I know that it fills my soul as well. Okay, not just yours, it fills mine. Um, so I've gone with hot pink with a dash of raspberry, color milk color in this. I feel like raspberry just makes everything just that little bit warmer kind of pink color. Um, the hot pink by itself I feel is a little bit like, I don't really know what the word is, just a bit a wonky. This is a really weird setup for me with the camera so I can't really. The lighting's not too bad in here, so that's good. Thank you, Mum and Dad. Fix it with buttercream. Um, speaking of drip, I really want to get my hands on the new um, Color Mill drip that they've just released. Um, I just haven't got around to actually purchasing anything more. I don't want to purchase anything more because I've got so much storage um, until I've set myself up properly somewhere so um, that would have been perfect for this but we can't have everything can we just have to be patient and trust the process So pink drip and then um, some little bit of piping on the top, some glitter. I've also got these like tiny little disco balls. Um, I'm going to say I got them from like Shein or Timu or something. It was a little while ago and I just had them kind of in my decorations box for something like this to come along. So that's perfect. Um, I had to raid my topper box as well because I didn't really have time to get a custom topper, but um, just a silver happy birthday thing, I think. We'll let Kiki decide when, when I get there with the cake. Um, I want to do some sprinkles around the bottom as well. Actually, let's... container for that in a sec. Alright, 
let me, let me, let me, let me do the sprinkles first. All right. So I've just got um, the sprinks, like the bubble mix, pink ones that almost match up perfectly. Hopefully the lighting's all right. It's a little bit dull, isn't it? Yeah, I did throw away my ring light because it's trashed, so maybe I need a new one. I might get onto um, Hey Paparazzo actually and see what lighting they've got on there. So I think they've got like a, a like a decent light, it's like this big, and it sits above um, the camera there. So maybe I can get that, and that will probably solve every single one of my problems. Um, and then just a, a blush bubble mix as well. I feel like that's going to be cute at the bottom there. Let me see. There's some different pinks in there. All right, let's do this then. Cake is still quite cold, so I do need to work quite quickly um, to get this on. And then still have the buttercream um, not crossed it over because we are using my Bomas buttercream and it does crust, which I like. I don't, look, the Swiss meringue buttercream, you can work with it for days. You can be putting sprinkles on it the next day and it's still sticky and lovely and moist and wet and glossy. But I actually like the fact that this sort of almost sets and I just feel like everything's just secure. It's not going to like smudge or, I don't know. It's like a painting and it's dry. Whereas Swiss Iron Buttercream is just always, always a bit wet. It's just me. You know me. Just pressing um, a handful of sprinkles onto the cake, and anything left over is going into. Oops, that was a bit silly. Just stuck my freaking finger in it. And 
this one. Just sort of push it up the cake as well. Right. And then I've got these still to play with, so they have not been wasted. I'm just going to put a real little bit of buttercream on my finger, like the tiniest bit, so I can stick my finger into the sprinkles and press them onto the cake. So I want it to look like it's sort of cascading up the cake instead of just a straight up line where I pressed it in. Um, also, while I'm here, if you haven't already, there are only three tickets, well, at the time of filming this, there are only three tickets left to my Mother's Day cake decorating class, so I'm going to run you through how to make a cake. It'll be a little bit shorter than this, but it'll be a similar format. Icing the cake, um, we've got some beautiful pressed flowers from um, uh, Pretty Produce, um, which are the pressed flowers in the photo. Um, they are stunning. Um, so I really wanted to sort of do a cute Mother's Day thing. So that's on this the Saturday, before, the day before Mother's Day, down at Summertown Studio. Um, so I think that'll be really freaking fun. I'm excited to teach my first cup, the cake class, not cupcake class. So that'll be really good. Um, I am very excited for that. I'm just going to fix up the top here. I am going to go around with a border, but I'll just. Oh my god, I don't have that underneath. I almost went flying. Um, yeah, so jump on that. There's also, um, I'm also working on a Mother's Day class on Mother's Day um, at a wonderful cellar door that I have been to before. So I will keep you updated on that. Keep an eye out if um, you're looking to do a Mother's Day activity on Mother's Day because that would be really fun, I think. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Cute. Um, I'm also looking at a kid's school holiday workshop too. We'll see how that goes. It'll kind of be a bit of a last minute thing, I think. Um, now, a few more. I think I'll do a little bit of silver too. There's another bowl. A little bowl. I just got some silver to match um, the disco balls. And then I'll pipe some stuff at the top. Um, and we can put the disco balls on. Um, hopefully this is, she sent me some inspo pics. Some of them were not great. Oh, I gotta do the drip as well. That's right, all right. Let's, let's focus on that first. 
Let's do the drip first and then we can do the piping. All right. BRB, I'm just going to melt some chocolate because I don't have any drip. And uh, we'll get back, we'll do the drip, we'll do the icing, and then we'll pop a little cute disco ball on. <laughs> Alright, we're back. Cake has been in the fridge for a little minute. Um, and I just have made up some melted chocolate. I've put um, a little bit of um, oil into it. Oops. Um, vegetable oil just to make it a little bit more drippy. Um, and hopefully... We're gonna get a nice drip. I'm not sure about it, so I am gonna just sort of test it first on the back to make sure that it's not gonna seize up and be weird. So that will ruin my life. Okay, it's perfect, P.S. And that's why I'm still going. <laughs> now, as I said, highly recommend um, the Caramel Drip as opposed to this, to be honest. Um, because this is, like, this is a good day. This is a good day. Um, the other... Um, with the caramel uh, drips, you are always going to get the right consistency all the time. And like this could have gone, you know, not in a good way. So I always recommend, I would always recommend using it. I'm sorry, not for this now. Desperate times. All right. I'm going to let that set. I'm going to wash my hands and we'll get back to it. All right. We're set. I've got a 6B, a loyal 6B tip. Light is. Um, and we are just going to pipe some stuff in the top. Disco balls on it.
I've got Ain't a Damn Disco Birthday Cake. I don't know what it is. Love it. Amazing. Brilliant. Fantastic. Um, cool. I'm also going to do some cupcakes because I've got a bit of buttercream left. So um, I'll just put the rest of this into a packing bag. I've got a little bit of white icing as well. So we'll just go ahead and pink sprinkles. I guess I could just put a pink in there. Alright. And then. Um, We'll get the cupcakes out and then that can go in the fridge and then we'll head to set up the balloons. I'm so excited for these photos, they're going to look so good. Yay. 